Mission number 59. I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. This is the second mission with Gary, and Nico is greeted gracefully by Kate and her mother. Gary tells Nico that he is in the intense heat as someone is keeping an eye and leaking information about him. Gary takes Nico to the kitchen and tells him to go as an Albanian and whack Frankie Garone, an celebrity gang member. He shows him the body of an Albanian, which Nico will disguise as him and get Gary off the heat. This mission is going to be a very tough mission, friends. So please learn how to drive a motorcycle, practice a lot, lol, on this mission, and accomplish. Let's play the mission, friends. Here we are. Thank you very much. Oh, there he is. <laughs> the sophisticated European. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> so, how are you? All right, yeah. Cage, don't stand there talking to him on the doorstep. Ask him in. Oh, come in. Ma, you remember the boy's friend, Nico? How are you? Good, and you? Put it like this. My boys are out of control. My daughter can't find a man, and my husband is in hell. I'm thinking, God moves in mysterious ways. Whoa. That's mother for you. Always a joy. <laughs> <laughs> Nico! You made it, huh? Uh, well, I'll leave you to your men's talk. I hope you impress each other. Hey, look at me. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. You'll do fine. Fine at what? Some gimp work for the Pegorinos. I owed them. Oh, please. I do it myself, but I think I'm being watched by the cops. Someone. I think I'm about to get pinched again. Shit, really? Yeah, it's happened before. I keep seeing the same car watching. All it means is someone's been speaking, we just have to find out who and make them stop. In the meantime, it chill things out for a bit. So, I need your help. Okay. Atta boy. Come on. Got something to show you. Now, Pegorino's a funny guy. Seems like his main motivation is putting his Guernsey crew on par with the five old families. Ancelotti's being the weakest. He's decided to stir shit up for him. Now, the Ancelotti's have an uneasy alliance with some Albanians. They use them as hitmen, thugs, bullies. I know the type. Much like Jimmy DeGuido uses us. So, what you're going to do is disguise yourself as an Albanian and then go whack Frankie Garon, an Ancelotti longtime capo. Sure. Which Albanian? Uh, this one. It's up to us to improve life without the millions of years needed to naturally adapt to our ever-changing environment. And thanks to the brilliant minds at Ambulance, life just got a lot better. Live a life of luxury with the motorized scooter. We've taken the number one cause of tiredness, stress, and boredom, and removed it from your life. That's right, walk no more. With the Relax Power X from Ambulate, it's not a wheelchair. It's a motorized scooter. You'll fly by your lesser evolved cousins with speed and ease. As to the question, are you fat because you're on a scooter? Or are you on a scooter because you're fat? Who cares? It doesn't matter. You're on a scooter and they're not. Feel the pride and importance and special treatment you deserve. Carefree. That's the Relax Power X motorized scooter from Ambulate. Take the weight off your feet.
some analysts say is obvious, the rest of the country is really boring and nobody in their right mind. Either way, we hope prices stay high and it keeps the riffraff out of town and in the suburbs where they belong. Of course, we're talking about minorities. Tiny internet
prison break, we go live to the scene. An escaped felon is on the loose and police say it's Aiden O'Malley. O'Malley was being transported from a police station in Algonquin where he was giving evidence. He was being taken back to the Alderney State Correctional Facility. The convoy was ambushed by two trucks while going through the Booth Tunnel. O'Malley is a white male in his mid-40s. Although American born, he speaks with an Irish brogue. He was assisted by two accomplices. One was American, but the other had a foreign accent.